So I just wanted to make this video to raise awareness for an increasingly present and like legit condition that we have in our society that I actually suffer from. It's called non-renormalizing pitch escalation syndrome, also known as chronic up-talking. When you're in the up-talk like a normal girl or gay guy or whatever, but then when you reach the point of up-talk at the conclusion of a phrase, your voice is unable to fall again in pitch. That's causing you to be trapped in a sort of never-ending climb. To the point like you nearly impossible love of this communication. Which means you're really hard to talk or whatever. Voiceless, it cries. Weakless, flutters. Toothless, bites. Mouthless, mutters. Who, who, we knows, we knows. Shut up. It's wind, cause it is. We both wanted to be other people when we were younger. You wanted to be a queen. To sit next to a handsome young king on the Iron Throne. I wanted to be a knight. To pick up a sword like father and go off to battle. Neither of us got to be the other person, did we? The world doesn't just let girls decide what they're going to be. But I can now. With the faces I can choose. I can become someone else. Speak in their voice. Live in their skin. I can even become you. I wonder what it feel like to wear those pretty dresses. To be the lady of Winterfell. All I need to find out is your face. Wow, Rose, are you seriously spitting seeds at me right now? I would never let you destroy the kitchen. Wow, how does an orange have a gun? Eat that monster! Ah, stop that! Okay, are we calm now? Can we just talk like normal? Ah, ah, knock it off! Sorry! My darling Christine, can't bear to say it was. I've decided to leave you. You loved Adam, even if you couldn't consciously remember him. He would run into your arms and it would pick him up. And for a while you sensed who he was. Then you started to believe. Adam had been taken away from you when he was a baby. Every time you saw him, you thought it was for the first time. I'd ask him to tell you when he last saw you and he'd say, Yesterday, mummy. But you wouldn't believe. 